Hello everybody. A subsidy to solve positive extant in consumption market failure. Potentially this could also be merit good market failure. How do you draw this diagram? Very important diagram to help with your analysis for a question or an essay on this. Start by labeling the axis. It's a market failure based diagram. So it's price costs and benefits on the y axis and quantity on the x-axis. If you can apply it, apply it if you know the market you're working with. Then start by drawing the positive x ante consumption diagram. Lots of videos on my channel to help you with this. So we know that there's nothing wrong with our cost curve, so let's label that MSC, which we call that MPC. The issue is with our benefits curve, where the marginal social benefit is to the right of the marginal private benefit. Now, just label three bits on the axis. Three so we want quantity, we want price, and we want the socially optimum quantity. Okay, so label those three things on the axis and stop there. It's a subsidy. What does a subsidy do? It lowers costs of production for businesses. It shifts the marginal private cost curve downwards. And we are going to assume on this uh, video, in this video, that the subsidy is perfect. The subsidy gets the market back to the socially optimum quantity perfectly, which means that this subsidy in shifting the marginal private cost curve will cut the MPB curve here, wouldn't it? Because that is the exact quantity uh, which reflects Q star. So what we need to draw is a parallel shift downwards of the MPC curve to cut the MPB curve at that red dot. With a ruler, it's very easy to do. Without one, it's slightly more difficult. The shift has got to be parallel, like that. And then you label MSC, which is equal to MPC plus sub which implies that you shifted the MPC curve downwards because of the subsidy. What does it mean? Well, where the MPC cuts the MPB now is at the socially optimum level, so the market is now working efficiently and we have a lower price as well. To make it clear that quantity has changed and that price has changed, use arrows to make it clear. That's the diagram. Then you go through your mental checklist. It only takes 30 seconds, but worth spending the time to do. Have you labelled your axis? Always check. Yes, I have. Have you labelled the curves? Perfectly. That makes sense. That in detail. Yes. Have you labelled the equilibrium? Yes, we have. You miss one of those three out, or more than that, you lose a huge heap of marks. You've got to be so careful. Hence, the ACE diagram is a very useful tip. Have you made it clear that we were at the private optimum? We're now at the socially optimum level. Yes, that's very clear. Have we made it clear that there is a lower price and a higher quantity? Yes, the arrows have made it clear that the price and the quantity have both changed. That is the diagram for you there. Very useful to know. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you for the next video.